Hey YouTube, so I'm coming to you guys with a little PLL withdrawal video. Um, this past Friday was Halloween, and I don't celebrate Halloween, but I was like, what am I going to do? So I decided to watch the PLL Halloween episodes again, and um, like oh, from all the past years. By the way, for this year's, um, shout out to Sam Sam. He was on there, and I actually watch him, and I'm subscribed to him. So shout out to him, and he was like the star of the show. <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, so I was re-watching the PLO episodes and the Halloween episodes, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you really see a few little clues that, you know, I didn't see before, because I don't really re-watch the episodes. Like, I tried to start watching it from the beginning, but it was kind of, like, redundant for me, but I wasn't paying attention then. But um, when I was watching the Halloween episodes, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many things that I didn't notice before, like... How, um, like, the first Halloween episode was when they went to the the Halloween before Allison disappeared. And, um, you saw that Wilden was already, like, trying to get with Hannah's mom. You saw, like, if you watched the very first scene that, um, Allison was telling the little boy that Hannah was babysitting about the twins, how one tw twin killed the other twin. Um, it was just like, whoa, 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 I, like, I noticed some things before, but now I'm, like, really noticing how all this is coming together. Another thing I noticed in that first Halloween episode was, um, there was, like, a house that was abandoned that all the girls were scared of, and, um, everybody was like, oh, one of them said, oh, no one's in that house, it's just an abandoned house, um, but someone was actually in there, and then there was a Radley car outside of that house. Um, so I was just like, who was in that house then? Was it, at first I thought, oh, was it Bethany? But Bethany wouldn't be in the Radley car because she ran away. And it was the summer before, uh, the Halloween before Allison disappeared. I'm not, I think she disappeared in the summer. So that would have been the next year. So it was just like, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. But anyway, um, I want to talk about Aria. The Aria is a theory. Um, somebody I'm subscribed to, Elston Merch, I believe his name is, he just put up a video a few days ago, and he has some interesting theories, so I'll definitely leave his video down below. But I was looking at, on Friday, I was looking at um, the Aria's A Tumblr. Like, I don't ha I have a Tumblr, but I never log into Tumblr. So I just Google Aria is A, and the first one that pops up from Tumblr, um, that's what I click on, and you just see, like, everybody's, like, gifts and stuff of uh, the Aria's A theories. And one of them showed that from that same Halloween episode where the twins, they had, like, the black shoes and the little girly white socks that had the little frills on it. Aria was wearing the same shoes and socks, and I believe it was the episode where she, like, made Mona cry. And Byron, her father, was wearing the exact same clothes as the father, um, well, <laughs> the father, um, of the twins, that, the one twin that killed the other twin, those twins, he was wearing the exact same clothes. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, people just find everything out about, like, Arya, uh, whatever, whatever they want to look at in the show, they research, they find the exact clips, and it's like, yo, that's true. I didn't realize that they were wearing the same clothes, like, I didn't even think about that. No, I didn't think that, oh, the twins wouldn't be Allison oh, and Courtney, because remember, um, that's what happened in the book, so what if Arya had a twin and she killed her twin? What if that's why they went away to Iceland, you know? Who knows? So there's a bunch of theories. I'll definitely need the link of that I clicked on to see all those theories down below. But I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, I was on PLL. I was, like, I'm in withdrawal because, you know, the Halloween episode wasn't an actual episode. It was just, like, a recap and talking to the actors and stuff. So I kind of miss it. But there's supposed to be, like, a Christmas episode. I'm not sure when it's going to premiere, though. Either in January or in December. Hopefully December. Um, but, um, yeah. So I'm just looking at those things and I'm just like, wow, there's so many things that I don't even recognize. So I kind of want to go back and watch the episodes again. But it gets a little bit tedious, but at the same time, you know, you do notice new things when you look back now with some hindsight about Allison being actually being alive versus dead and all of that. Um, so, yeah. The Arya is A theory is also very truthful to me. Like I said, I'll leave Allison's video because he had some good points that no one else that I saw, even on the Tumblrs, had. And, um, also, it was just interesting to watch, um, and the Aria's A, um, gifts on Tumblr and stuff, just show you so many clues as to, sometimes Aria makes signals, one time Aria, when all the girls got a text from A, everyone had, like, one line, but Aria had a whole paragraph, so that wasn't a text from A, like, there's a bunch of different things, and it's just like, wow, 
she could be A. Oh, and another thing, a thing that really convinced me was A team. They said that it's Allison, um, Toby, Ezra, Aria, Mona. Now Ezra, um, Mona, and Toby already have been found out to be A at one point or another on the A team or A. Um, but Allison technically isn't A even though she looks like A right now and Arya definitely hasn't been A as yet but Mona called Arya big A and um, Allison looks like she could be A or working with A at the moment so what if Arya is A guys leave your comments down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye